Hello, all you beautiful backyard horse enthusiasts. We're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects here, horse poop and flies, how to manage them. Because if you got poop, you have flies. So yeah, as I'm showing here, you know, you can compost it. We have four composting piles on our property just because I like it convenient. We have six turnout areas. So I like to have one place where we put all, we collect all the poop and then we, um, we can manage it better that way. It composts better. And I can also, which I'll hit on later on in this video, uh, talk to you about the fly predators that we release on our property. So here's some beautiful organic composted horse manure. Stunning. It is beautiful. It's what we use in our garden beds. Here's some more that this looks, this is more like what um, our composted manure looks like, or you can buy it. Why would you buy it when you're making huge amounts of manure every day? This, these are my garden beds. This is composted manure. Um, I do things a little differently than most people. In fact, if you're interested in how I garden, watch the YouTube video Back to Eden by Justin Rhodes. It's a two hour long documentary. I've watched it three times. The man is brilliant genius when it comes to composting and growing. Here you see, you know what these are? These are manure pellets, wood stove pellets. Yeah, yep, you can turn that manure into heat for your home. These are manure bricks. There's another one. We will actually be turning our manure into bricks as well. This is my least favorite wheelbarrow because it has two wheels and you can't steer it. I had one of these. I'm grateful it broke and we just salvaged all the parts of it so we can make something else out of the wheels and the frame. But um, I hated this wheelbarrow. And I don't know why it's staying up here for as long as it is, but there it is. Here's my favorite right here. Not this brand in particular, but this style. Um, just easy, easy, easy to navigate. And you know, it's funny. I was out picking up manure this morning. Oh, wait. Oh, here we go. A manure spreader. This is a small one. It's still going to set you back about $3,000. They sure are handy. Going to need one of these, a bedding fork. We use these in the stalls but not necessarily outside. Outside, we use a metal rake like this. We have a couple like this. They're just wonderful and heavy duty. Um, we also have a pasture vacuum cleaner. It's massive and you pull it behind your tractor. Okay, flies, here we go. Flies, flies, flies. Yep, you got animals, you got flies. What do we do here at the farm? Well, for six years, I've been using Spalding fly predators to keep our flies under control and i have to say i am quite satisfied we have four horses so we spend about two hundred dollars per year per season these fly predators will kill flies before they hatch they won't harm people they really work they do break the flies life cycle and they eat the pupae before the flies actually hatch. These have been wonderful to use on our property. They truly are a great value because in most situations, the fly predators are going to provide excellent control and are suitable for other animals as well. We were raising pigs, and I'm talking 30 to 40 pigs on the ground at a time, and we used these fly predators and had no issues with flies. Alrighty, so here's how it works with the predators. Really simple. Every three to four weeks during the warm months, you're going to automatically receive your fly predator shipment. Once you start to see like a dozen or so hatching, then you're going to go out to your pasture and you're going to sprinkle them around wherever your flies are reproducing. So it's going to be your uh, manure pile. Um, I go around, we have eight acres. I go all over the place um, sprinkling them because they travel 150 feet in any direction so I make sure I put some everywhere 
So you don't have to be spot on with this, but you want to make sure you're hitting the major parts of your property because they will fly and move in 100 and at 150 feet in any direction. So just make sure you're taking care of the major places where your horses are pooping. Okay, well, you can't just use the fly predators really on any property. I do use baited fly traps. I use some disposable and some that I just continually reuse with fly bait and they work amazing. And I, those are throughout the property away from the barn. I don't want to attract them in the barn. So none of the traps are located in the stable. Here's just a little sampling of all the different fly attractants and baits that you can hang about your property that work. Here's my favorite. Ooh, it's the Odor Be Gone product. Bye Bye Odor. This stuff is amazing. Two ounces makes two and a half gallons of odor control and it works. I am so excited to not have my barn stink. I'm saving on shavings because I, they dry out without any smell. I just fluff them up every single day and I use one of those. Oh yeah. Oh, 96% of customers that buy from Spalding give them a four or five star rating. I have given them a five star rating. I love them. Their customer service is bar none. And just so you know, if you order and mention my name when you're ordering, you will get bonus fly predators in your order when you order from them. So just mention Kimber Lee, L-E-Y, and you will get bonus fly predators. That's exciting. So with good fly and manure management, you can eliminate having to use these items and having to hunt for them every day in your pastures. Not fun. Thank goodness, as you look around at all the horse poops, um, I have 20,000 fly predators from Spalding Labs showing up this week, which is great. I've got traps in the trees everywhere, our traps, traps, traps. And I'll tell you, um, our new thing here is we use, and I'm going to show a little clip on that, the Freedom 45 repellent. Oh my gosh, even for gnats, these horses have had no gnat bites anywhere, not in their ears, not under their jaw, not behind their elbows, not around their sheaths, none, zero. That's like unheard of. This is the first summer that I've, without fail, every two weeks applied the Freedom 45 drops on these horses and nothing, not a tick, not a gnat, no flies, very little. You see them? This is, it's, it's in the 90s already and it's muggy. And are their tails going nuts? No, I don't spray them with anything else. I do not spray them. I don't have to. I just don't. Every two weeks, it's on the calendar. They get it. And it, um, it's all of these precautions have made a huge difference on this property.